Okay, there are a couple things that happened this week that may have gotten all Democrats a little excited. I mean, I'm not talking over the moon, doing black flips excited, but definitely a little excited. First was a report from Politico revealing some of the things Joe Biden calls Donald Trump behind closed doors. We're going to put it up on the screen. None of it surprised me, really, but we're a family show, so we're not going to say any of it. But you get the idea from what you see there. I'm not condoning it, of course, but there were some definitely some definitely some Democrats out there who may have felt seen by it. And then last night in South Carolina, a resounding victory for the president in the first official primary contest on the Democratic side. Not unexpected necessarily, but 96 percent is pretty good on any test. It's much higher than what the polls were predicting under any circumstances. Joining me now is my friend Jen Palmieri. She's the former communications director for President Obama, now the host of the MSNBC podcast, which is excellent, How to Win 2024. So, Palmieri, let's start with the primary last night, because the, yeah. the president did do far better than what the polls were predicting in terms of the percentage of the vote he got. What did you make of the turnout numbers and other things that you've yeah. looked at in terms of the data from last night? So, the, so it was a fraction of how many people voted in 2020, but that's to be expected. But it was still in the you know high tens of thousands of, of, of people who voted. Interestingly, for the for the turnout operation, it was the, the voters that turned out in 24 uh, a much higher percentage black voters. It's like 76 percent, I think, of the voters that turned out yesterday uh, were black voters. In 2020, that number was around 56 percent. So, mm -hmm. in terms of you know, it, for both New Hampshire and South Carolina, you know, they're small tests, but they're tests of, the, of enthusiasm and they're tests of the Biden turnout operation and just how they're dealing with mechanics. And, you know, Jen, I mean, we talked about this off camera, but what they pulled off in New Hampshire is a big deal to get people to write in Joe Biden after after he dissed New Hampshire and walked away from mm -hmm. New Hampshire. It was a big deal. It's a hard thing. And then last night, same deal in South Carolina. There's not a real reason to have to turn out. It's not a competitive primary, but a lot of black voters did. And that shows enthusiasm and support for, for Biden. So that Would both you? both states are good contests. And then on Tuesday, we have Nevada, too. So that's another good uh, test the of um, you know, labor's a big deal in Nevada, um, Hispanic vote's a mm -hmm. big deal in Nevada, and so we'll learn more there, too. Yeah, and all of it, as you alluded to, is sort of exercising the organizational muscle, yeah. which, is, which is a good thing. So I, I alluded to this at the top, but there were some things that President Biden reportedly <laughs> said. I have no doubt about this, by the way, behind closed doors about Trump. What's important to me about the reporting to point out, which isn't always talked about, is his frustration was about how Trump is so self-involved and doesn't care about the American yeah. people. That's why he used those words that I won't use on TV because my mom will be mad. But what did you make of that? And, and what do you think Democrats, how do you think Democrats read that out there who want a little pizzazz? Both of our New England mothers would be very upset, Saki. <laughs> we will not use that kind we'll of say sugar. Planet. Just say sugar, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, this is, we, we both know Joe Biden. We know fundamentally he's one of the most decent people you know, right? And I think that is what really bothers him about Trump is the way Trump treats people and the way he talks about, you know, called people who served in the military losers and suckers and, you know, said, you know, said, don't show disabled veterans. Nobody wants to see that. And particularly, you know, for the Bidens uh, with their, you know, having lost a son that served in the military, it's such a big deal. And I do think it shows, but unlike Trump, Biden doesn't say this out loud in public. <laughs> so, that, you know, and I think that, it does sort of difference, key difference. Yeah, that, that's a big difference. I will point out. Now, before I let you go, I did want to ask you, there's a new poll, of course, out um, by NBC. There's lots to dig into here, and we could dig into more if we had more time. But it does show Biden trailing Trump by five points. But when voters are asked if Trump is convicted of a felony, he pulls ahead by two points. Obviously, the Biden campaign can't control convictions. He's not talking about it purposefully. Is there anything in there that you think the Biden campaign could work with that's telling about those numbers? Well, I think what the, the yeah, on the conviction, I think that, that that matters. That means the message around democracy. That means the message around protecting elections, protecting the republic. That sort of that even if even if President Biden's not going to talk about the court cases, that is at the the court cases are at the root of that argument about how we need to protect democracy. And so I think you can still even as as the trials are going on. I mean, I heard what Neil and and Andrew had to say about it all. You can be making this argument alongside the campaign uh, without getting into the having to get into the nuts and bolts of the court cases. So that that suggests that even as Trump 
continues to perform better than Biden and the economy, which is a which is a whole other frustrating thing for the Biden team to deal with. And we think those numbers will get better. Will get better. They know that this issue is 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 something that they can mine for independent voters, maybe moderate Republicans that uh, are open to voting for him in 24.